Welcome to Fab Monday. Today we'll talk about class late and data house access. How to access a data house from a data lake or a, or a data lake from a data. So class lake house access. In the same workspace, they can access each other. It's very easy. So they can access each other on the same workspace. If the lake house are in different workspaces, they can't directly access each other, but the lake house have a feature called shortcut. We can create a shortcut from one lake house to another lake house. And in this way, one lake house can access another lake house in a different workspace. A view can be created between lake houses. So we can create in a lake house a view using resources from a different lake house. The view, of course, is only accessible on the SQL endpoint. A notebook cannot access this view yet. Only the SQL endpoint can access the view. And the workspace needs to be in a domain. It's very recommendable that the workspace is linked to a domain using the very recent and extremely preview domain concept inside the fabric environment. Why? Because there are some details in relation to the user interface that makes it easier if the workspace are linked to a domain. What about the access between data house and lake houses? So, cross data house, lake house access. In the same workspace, a simple query works. So, the workspace rule also applies between different objects, between a lake house and a data house. They can access each other in the same workspace. In different workspace, a bridge is needed. What do I mean? Well, when a lake house wants to access another lake house in a different workspace, a shortcut can be created. But for a data warehouse to access a lake house in a different workspace, the data warehouse doesn't have the shortcut feature. It's not possible to create a shortcut in a data warehouse, there is no shortcut feature. So what could we do? They are in different workspaces, workspace A and workspace B. So we create a lake house as a bridge. Make the shortcuts between the lake houses. And then the data warehouse can access the lake house. So that's what we call a bridge. I will simplify a bit more. But this is for the data house to access the lake house. If it is the opposite for the lake house to access the data house, the shortcut can be created. The lake house supports a shortcut. Data houses don't support shortcuts, exactly what I was talking about. A lake house works as a bridge, so we create a no a third lake house, a third object, which will be a lake house, that will work as a bridge. And views between the objects are supported. We can create views between these objects. So how this works? Let's imagine we have workspace A and workspace B, data house A and data house B in different workspaces. So we create a bridge lake house. In this example, we are talking about two data houses, one talk to another. Then we create a bridge lake house in the workspace A. This bridge lake house can make a shortcut to the data house in the other workspace. And since Data house A and the bridge lake house are in the same workspace. They can access each other because the workspace rule. So 
In this way, we use a bridge lake house to make the cross object access. And the data warehouse they can access the bridge lake house. What if the other object on workspace B is a lake house? If the other object is a lake house, the work is absolutely the same. There is no difference. The only difference is one detail, which is not illustrated here, is if the lake house B wants to access the data warehouse A. The lake house B can make a shortcut directly to the data house A. There is no restriction in this case. Who doesn't support shortcuts is the data warehouse. For the data warehouse to access a lake house in a different workspace, a lake house bridge is needed. Let's see some examples of all these that we talked about. First, let's see examples about the same workspace access. Here, I have a workspace called Malta Fabric Demo, and in this workspace, I have a data warehouse called Malta DW and a lake house called Malta Lake. So, a warehouse and a lake house are in the same workspace. It could be two data warehouses, it could be two lake houses, but I'm going directly to an example of different options. And then I connect to one of these objects. Doesn't mind much if I start the connection from the data warehouse or the lake house. And I can make quiz. Here I can quiz one of the objects. Mind the way that I make a reference to the object itself. The workspace is never referenced because both are in the same workspace, but we make a reference to the object. The second query, reading from the lake house. The first one was reading the Dimension City 4 from the data house. Now we did the same Dimension City from the lake house. Now let's take a look on the more complex query. In this more complex query, I make a join between the data house table and the lake house table, the fact from the data house and the Dimension City from the lake house, making a group by and counting the total of sales by city. So, I can join tables from different objects. I can, as I mentioned, I can create views from the screen, so I can save the screen as view. We have even a button for that. Save as view. I choose to save on DBO. It tells me where it will save on Malta Lake. Malta Lake is the lake house. So, I'm creating a lake house view. And this view will be city totals. Okay. It's done. Now the view is created. I can make a select. From city totals. And if you take a look here at the left, the view city totals already appears in our lake house. So I have a view joining data from two different objects contained in the same workspace. Now as our second example, let's see a cross workspace lake house X how one lake house can access another lake house from a different workspace. So, I have here the workspace Malta Fabric Demo and the lake house Malta Lake. And I have here a diff different workspace Lake House Demo. In this Lake House Demo, 
I have the lake house demo lake. So here on the demo lake, I can create a new shortcut and point that this shortcut will be created to one lake, to another object inside the one lake. And it will be to the Malta lake, which is in a different workspace. So I can take a look on the tables and choose the table which I will use for the shortcut. Since the table already existed, it created the table with self underscore one. Fact say one is the name of the shortcut because there was already a table with the name fact say. If you take a very close look on the icon, you will note the icon for this object is a shortcut. The icon listed for this object is a shortcut. As our last example, let's see a cross workspace and object access. Let's see a data house making access to a lake house in a different workspace using a bridge like i mentioned it would be needed in this scenario we have here the malta fabric demo in the malta fabric demo we have a warehouse malta dw is our data warehouse then we have the sales lake house where we have the sales lake house. Sales lake house is our lake house. So how the data warehouse will access the one table of the lake house in a different workspace. The data warehouse doesn't have the concept of shortcut. You can't create a shortcut in a data warehouse. What we can do is to create a bridge. We can create a bridge to solve this problem. If we take a closer look in the initial workspace, Malta Fabric Demo, I have a lake house called Lake Bridge. This lake house, Lake Bridge, is created there exactly to work as a bridge. It is empty. But I can use this lake house to make shortcuts to the lake house in the different workspace. And I'll get the sales lake house from the different workspace. And I can create a shortcut, for example, to transaction history. Great. Then it is, I have a lake house, lake bridge, with a shortcut to the sales lake house in a different workspace. But this lake bridge is in the same workspace as my data warehouse. They are in the same workspace. In this way, I can add the lake bridge to the explorer. Here it is, Lake Bridge is present in the Explorer and they have access to transaction history as if it were local, but in fact is a shortcut to a different workspace and they can create queries based on this. New SQL query, a simple select star, but this is not about only making queries when both are included on the explorer. No, I can really make a more constant re uh, relation between them. So I can save this query as a view to my Malta DW, to my data warehouse. So create view transaction history. Let me make it fresh, and then it is transaction history. 
I can make a select and let me make the example that the link widget doesn't need to be here on the explorer. I can remove the link bridge from the explorer and execute this query over the view. What this query is doing? The data warehouse is accessing a information from a lake house in the same workspace. But the information on the lake house is a shortcut to an information in a different workspace. In this case, I'm using a lake house only as a bridge to, to make a communication between a data warehouse and a lake house in different workspace. Thank you very much for watching and see you all next Monday.